With us right now is World Bank President, Mr. Ajay Banga. Mr. Banga, your priorities as World Bank President? Well, I've just taken over six weeks ago, and I'm very clear that the first thing to do is to redefine the vision and the mission of the bank and to make it very clear that what we're trying to do is to eradicate poverty, but on a livable planet. And what I mean by livable planet is to bring in the aspects of dealing with climate change and pandemics and fragility as well. The second thing we're working on is the capital adequacy framework mm -hmm. and specific ideas of that. And the final item is on the operating model and collaborating with other multilateral banks and creating the scalability and the replicability of what we need to do. So you spoke about spurring private sector investment here, especially in yes. infrastructure. Yes. Even in India, private sector investment, why it's not taking off is a cause for concern. What would be your recommendation? Well, I think, you know, this is very easy to talk about how the private sector will come and fund everything. The reality is right now, with what's happening with interest rates and with the IRA Act in America and with what's going on in Europe, uh, private sector money is literally getting flowing into the developed world even more than it is into the emerging markets. And so there's a lot of work to be done to make it attractive for them to come here. And that's one of the reasons why we've created this private sector investment lab, which is going to be co-chaired by Mark Carney and Shriti Vadera with 15 CEOs from asset management companies and operators. And the objective is to go through what holds back, what's the barrier that holds back this growth of the private sector that we want to invest in. Right. It could be risk-taking, it could be you know, foreign exchange risks, it could be other kinds of risks.